to find the focal length of the given convex lens first we have a light source so this is a lamp box so inside that there is a lamp okay so the lamp is connected to the power supply so this lamp box allows a parallel beam of light with wire gauge so this is the wire gauge there is a network like structures so this is the wire gauge so when we switch on the light when we switch on the light so the light source will fall on the lens so the light source the light source will exactly fall on the lens and its image is formed on the screen the image is formed on the screen are you able to see the network like structure so this is the image formed on the screen so what is our work so the distance between the source that is the object this light lamp is a, this wire gauge is a object for our experiment so the you take a wire gauge so from the object to lens distance is a u so i can measure the distance so the this is a initial point so from there the point zero is there from up to first i will keep the u value as 25 cm u value at 25 cm this is a lens stand convex lens is placed so exactly at 25 cm u is kept that means object is kept at a distance of 25 cm from the lens by adjusting this screen by adjusting this screen we are able to get the clear image so the distance between the screen and the lens is a image distance so we can measure the image distance from the center of so i will keep the scale so this is the center point lens stand center point from the center stand exactly 25 cm this scale zero this scale zero is kept at the starting point so this is the image distance image distance at the screen is exactly 94 cm i hope i yes exactly 94 cm for clear image if i move this screen back side the image is not clear if i move the screen front side image is not clear at exactly 94 cm the image will look very clearly the wire gauge will be able to see very clearly on the screen so that position is a image position we come to fix like that so exactly the distance between the screen and the lens is a image distance the distance between the lens and the object is object distance in our case so far the this is the tabulation which represents the u v 1 by u 1 by v and focal length so u is the object distance for first reading u is 25 cm what is the v v is 94 cm next i will uh, changes the u to 30 cm then 40 cm then 50 cm sorry 30 35 we can increase 5 5 cm 35 40 45 50 so by adjusting the position by keeping the position of the object at 30 cm what is the image distance so of the object distance is 35 means what is the image likewise we have to do the experiment so what is the next thing so initially it is kept at 25 cm i adjust this lens stand to 30 cm lens stand to exactly 30 cm then i will move this scale also so this is a ima image distance measuring scale so that also exactly changes to 30 cm okay so what is the object distance the lens and the light lamp distance is exactly 30 so we can write u as a 30 cm what is the v we have to adjust the screen in the screen the image is not clear so i adjust the screen okay at a particular point the image will be look very clear so here it is the blurred here also 
so this is the clear image it is not clear so again i will move that so this may be exactly clear image that will be exactly around 62 point it is not clear so now i will adjust exactly 62.4 so i will adjust that i hope uh, there will be a clarity is not clear yes yeah yeah so are you able to see this yes the wire gauge is very clear not at all blurred one so the wire gauge is very clear because of the yes i hope this is a clear image because of the high intensity you are not able to see the wire gauge clearly so this is a camera video is like this so if you see that practically in the direct i means it is clear for your vision so this is the clear image i hope this is a clear image so this is a or uh, image distance the image distance is measured this distance is exactly 62.4 cm so again the u distance again the lens distance is adjusted then the image is the screen is also adjusted to get a clear image so then we have to measure the distance between lens and the screen so experiment is very very simple switch on the lamp place the position of the lens as a u that means object distance is fixed 30 cm now you adjust the screen so where the image is very clear means you stop moving that then you have to measure the distance between the light lamp and the lens is u and the lens and the screen is b again you have to adjust the next position 40 cm then you have to adjust this screen to where is it is different cm at a particular distance the image is very clear then this distance is b so one by one we have to note down that for the u value of 35 cm the image distance is 48.5 then for u value 40 40 cm the image distance is 41.2 then for 45 cm the image distance is 37.5 then for 50 cm it is 34.5 so these are all the things you know it that first adjust the u and u distance by adjusting the lens distance we are able to keep the u value then adjusting this screen for the clear image that is a v value image distance value then we have to put 1 by u 1 by 25 and 1 by v means 1 by 94 so 1 by 25 value is 0.04 and 1 by 30 value is 0.033 then 1 by uh, 35 value is 0.028 then 1 by 40 value is uh, 0.0 0.25 then 1 by <coughs> 45 value is 0.022 then 1 by 50 value is 0.02 so here also the zero will come okay so very simple what is the 1 by v value 1 by 94 1 by 64 1 by 85 so 1 by 94 value is 0.010 so 1 by 64 62.4 is 0.016 1 by 1 divided by 48.5 is 0.020 then 1 by 42 41.2 is 0.024 So one by thirty-seven point five is zero point zero two six. Then finally one by thirty-four point five is zero point zero two eight. So this will be used for plotting the graph. So we are going to plot the graph between one by u and one by v. Also we are going to plot the graph between 
what is that v and u so that is the experiment to find the focal length of the convex lens direct method by using this one also we have to use the graph we have to uh, we need to draw the two graph one graph is a uv graph another graph is 1 by u 1 by v graph by using the 1 by u 1 by v value plot the graph by using the u and v values plot the graph so by using the formula f is equal to v u v by u minus v we can find the focal length as 19.74 so i will show very clearly how this uh, calculation is done the students for any convex lens the object is uh, placed in the left side so that means u is always taken as a negative and here the image is formed at the right side of that that the image is a real and inverted image so hence this assign convention for v is plus so for the first reading u value is 25 and v value is 94 so f is equal to uv by u minus v the sign convention for u is minus so we have to put minus 25 into 94 divided by u minus v u is sign convention is minus so whenever you put the u you have to put minus 25 minus 94 so this minus is this one so this minus is the sign convention of u is minus so if you do this calculation we get the 25 into 94 is minus 2350 divided by minus 25 minus 94 is minus 119 minus minus get cancel so we get f value which is equal to 19.74 cm so this is the calculation so always here the u value is minus and b value is plus so don't forget to use the sign convention in the calculation part so no need to put minus here so in the calculation part we have to use so likewise for the first reading answer is 19.74 for the second reading the answer is 20.25 for the third reading 20.32 and then 20.29 then 20.45 and 20.41 so this is the corresponding value uv uv and uv so for u value 35 and v value 48.5 the corresponding focal length by using this formula is 20.29 so we have to calculate this then by taking the average the average value so adding all the six readings and divided by 6 we get the average value is 20.24 so the rough calculation value the rough focal length value is 20.5 our calculation value is 20.24 it is exactly matched okay then what is the remaining part we have to plot the graph between uv and 1 by u 1 by v if you plot the graph between u and v so that is a uh, one <coughs> u and v we get the graph like this so uv method for uv the graph will be like this then for 1 by u and 1 by v 1 by u and 1 by v the graph will be like this so this is the graph i will draw the graph and uh, <coughs> upload in the notes so you have to plot the graph as it is so the two graphs we need to draw so one graph is a uv graph another graph is 1 by u 1 by v so we need to draw the model graph in the record note so don't forget to draw the model graph in the record note box so also we need to draw the <coughs> uh, ray diagram dear students it is a very easy for us so keep the u that is the object distance certain value correspondingly uh, change the screen distance we can measure the distance between the lens and the screen for clear image on the screen that is the image distance so by knowing the u and v that will be tabulated in the given tabulation we can do the calculation for 1 by u 1 by v and for the f then we have to plot the graph in that graph we will again find the value of focal length graphically